Welcome back to Cinemation Movie Recaps. Today, I'm showing you the 2018 movie, Jurassic World, The Fallen Kingdom. Beware of spoilers. Six months after the sinking of the Jurassic World theme park on Isla Nublar, a group of mercenaries are sent to Isla Nublar to recover the bones of the Indominus Rex from the Jurassic World Lagoon in order to create a new genetically modified hybrid, the Indoraptor. A submarine is sent down to retrieve the bones and sends them up a buoy before being attacked by a Mosasaurus. The people on land who open the gate to the lagoon lose contact with the submarine pilots. The gate begins to close, and a dinosaur is heard running through the jungle. The nearby trees shake, and the old familiar Tyrannosaurus Rex from Jurassic Park attacks the group. Jack is left on the ground, and their helicopter lowers a rope ladder. They escape the Tyrannosaurus, but then Jack is swallowed by the Mosasaurus after it jumps into the air and escapes from its enclosure. In the next scene, we are on the mainland in 2018, where Claire Deering, the former park manager, has since founded the Dinosaur Protection Group, an organization dedicated to saving and protecting dinosaurs. After the government refuses to fund a rescue mission for the dinosaurs, Claire meets Benjamin Lockwood an old business partner of John Hammond, who agrees to fund the rescue mission and move the dinosaurs to a new sanctuary island where they will be left to fend for themselves and be safe from human interference. Lockwood's assistant Illy Mills asks Claire to recruit Owen Grady, a former raptor trainer who worked at the park, to find and capture Blue, the last surviving velociraptor. Claire recruits Owen to help her rescue the remaining dinosaurs from the island. Claire and Owen set out on a charter plane with Zaya Rodriguez, a paleo-veterinarian, and Franklin Webb, an IT expert, both from the Dinosaur Protection Group. Upon landing, the group is surprised to find that a large base camp has already been set up and is met by Ken Wheatley, a big game and trophy hunter. Together with a group of mercenaries, they set out to reactivate an abandoned radio tower that will allow them to find the dinosaurs via their RFID chip implants. On their way through the main street of Jurassic World, they encounter a Brachiosaurus. Owen, Zaya, Wheatley, and some of the mercenaries set out to find Blue. Owen suggests that he go in search of Blue himself while the others stay behind at the truck. When Owen comes across the crashed Explorer 04 near the old one from the first Jurassic Park, Blue jumps out and Owen tries to connect with her before she is stunned by Wheatley and his mercenaries. Enraged, Blue attacks and kills a mercenary, but not before pulling out his gun and shooting Blue, much to Owen's horror. Owen tries to attack Wheatley, but Wheatley stuns him and threatens to shoot Zaya. Zaya says she is the only one who can keep Blue alive, and Wheatley tells his men to put down their guns. Mount Sebo erupts, whereupon the mercenaries protecting Claire and Franklin drive away in a panic and lock themselves in the old communication center. A baryonyx surprises them by crawling through an old tunnel, but is temporarily stopped by falling lava. Franklin and Claire narrowly escape an emergency ladder and trap the baryonyx in the communication center. Owen awakens from his unconsciousness, but is still largely unable to move. He is surprised by a Sinoceratops, which plays with him for a while before becoming frightened and running away from the approaching lava, which crawls toward Owen. He narrowly manages to escape before being engulfed by the lava. He runs into Claire and Franklin and keeps calling out to them. Run! The three escape the lava, falling debris and magma bombs and avoid being trampled by the dinosaurs. Franklin and Claire are both hiding in a gyrosphere when a Carnotaurus appears and fights a Sinoceratops before being struck down and killed by the T-Rex, which also makes its escape. Franklin, Claire, and Owen flee from the burning ash. Owen is on foot. Claire and Franklin are in the gyrosphere, but they fall off the edge of a cliff with several other dinosaurs. The magma bombs destroy the gyrosphere, and Claire and Franklin nearly drown, but manage to survive, thanks to Owen who opens one of the doors with his survival knife. As they crawl up the beach, they see that several dinosaurs, such as the Baryonyx and the T-Rex are being taken away. The mercenaries on the ship Arcadia begin to cage all the captured dinosaurs, 
Wheatley takes a pair of pliers and pulls a tooth from a stunned Stegosaurus. Owen, Claire, and Franklin also see Blue being tended to by the captured Zaya. Then the three use a truck to get onto the ship. They just make it and watch the island burn in the background. A captive Brachiosaurus shouts something to the departing ship before being swallowed by the ashes. Ely is disappointed by the lack of progress and meets with Gunner Reversal, an auctioneer who wants to monetize the dinosaurs. Lockwood's granddaughter, Macy, overhears their conversation and learns of their plan. Illy takes Gunner to a lab where he reveals that they want to create a new genetically enhanced dinosaur called Indoraptor for military interests and warfare. The current specimen is a prototype that they plan to use for military purposes. Macy tries to tell Benjamin, but he apparently thinks she misheard and sends her to bed. Owen, Claire, and Franklin meet with Zaya, who thinks they need Blue for something. Zaya also tells them that before she can treat Blue's gunshot wound, she needs a blood transfusion for Blue, just in case. Unfortunately, the only matching blood on the ship belongs to a stunned T-Rex that is on board and in one of the transport vehicles, so Zaya sends both Owen and Claire to get some of the live dinosaur's blood. They find the Tyrannosaur and successfully take its blood, but are locked up by some of the guards when the T-Rex wakes up. As the excited animal freaks out and lashes out violently, Claire escapes through the roof and opens the main doors of the cage. Owen narrowly escapes the snapping jaws of the T-Rex. The crew gives Blue the blood before making a run for it. Unfortunately, Franklin is captured and mistaken for a mercenary, so he is forced to help transport the dinosaurs to Lockwood Manor. Owen and Claire sneak into a truck, but are discovered by Wheatley and held captive in the basement of Lockwood Manor. Macy, who watched Mills enter the access code for the mansion's elevator the day before, surreptitiously enters the lab and watches several clips of Owen training velociraptors on Isla Nubler. Their exploration is interrupted by Mills and Dr. Henry Wu. The latter is very concerned about Blue's condition. In an attempt to escape the two men, Macy runs backwards into a corridor and bumps into the caged Indoraptor, who gently strokes her hair from behind. Macy screams, attracting the attention of Mills, who angrily escorts her upstairs and locks her in her bedroom. Lockwood confronts Mills about the latter's true intention to auction off the dinosaurs and is upset that Mills double-crossed him and used his own house as the site of the auction. At Lockwood's instruction to call the police himself, Mills murders Lockwood by suffocating him with a pillow. Bidders soon arrive for a dinosaur auction and place their bids for several species of dinosaurs the team has captured on the island, including an Ankylosaurus, a young Allosaurus, a Baryonyx, and several others. After being captured by Wheatley, Owen attracts the attention of a Stygimaloc, whereupon it breaks through the wall and eventually breaks down the door of Owen and Claire's cell, allowing them to escape. In the auction room of Lockwood's estate, Aversal and Mills show the crowd the prototype in Doraptor, emphasizing that the animal is not for sale. Amazed at the creature's ability to lock onto a specific target using a laser and an audible signal on a rifle, those in attendance begin bidding for the Indoraptor. Eversal is persuaded by Mills to accept the bids, much to Wu's displeasure, as the prototype Indoraptor lacks Blue's genome and therefore cannot feel empathy or follow more specific commands. Owen and Claire encounter Macy, who has escaped from her room and discovered her dead grandfather. The three enter the auction room where the Indoraptor is on display. Owen, knowing that the Indoraptor is far too dangerous to be sold, disrupts the auction proceedings with the help of the Stygimaloc and wreaks havoc among the spectators, which causes Mills and Aversal to shut down the auction. Owen defeats several mercenaries in hand-to-hand -hand combat and then flips a switch that prevents the Indoraptor's cage from leaving the auction hall. Later that evening, Wheatley enters the abandoned auction hall and notices the Indoraptor. Having never seen the creature before and wanting one of its teeth for his necklace, Wheatley shoots the Indoraptor with two stun darts and enters the cage after the Indoraptor appears to have been stunned. In reality, the Indoraptor is unaffected by the stun darts. He smiles and distracts Wheatley by waving his tail in the air before severing Wheatley's right arm and devouring him. 
His death is witnessed by a Versal, who runs to the elevator where more people are hiding. He pushes a woman out of the way to get to the code to close the elevator, whereupon she screams at the sight of the Indoraptor lunging at the still open elevator. The door, however, successfully closes before the Indoraptor can reach it. The hybrid, however, either intentionally or accidentally interrupts the power to the auction room with its tail, causing the elevator door to automatically reopen. Aversal's fate is sealed. Owen reunites with Claire and Macy, and the three encounter Mills and two security guards in the basement of the mansion. After unsuccessfully trying to persuade Macy to come with him, Mills angrily and cruelly reveals that Macy is actually a clone of Lockwood's beloved daughter, who had died in a car accident many years earlier. While Owen, Claire, and Macy are processing this revelation, the Indoraptor suddenly appears and kills the two guards, after which the others flee. Meanwhile, Zaya and Franklin continue to take care of Blue in Wu's lab. Zaya reveals to Wu that she gave Blue a transfusion of T-Rex blood, which makes Wu very angry, as it would now be impossible to create an Indoraptor with Blue's pure, but now obviously T-Rex blood-contaminated genome. Franklin injects Wu with 20 cubic centimeters of carfentanil in the neck, incapacitating him before the two are apprehended by two armed men. Franklin frees Zaya from the handcuffs that bind her to Blue's cage, and Zaya frees Blue. While Zaya and Franklin make their way to safety, Blue kills the two gunmen and escapes from the lab before a huge explosion occurs. The brief struggle had damaged several hydrogen tanks in the lab. Owen, Claire, and Macy seek refuge on the main floor of Lockwood's mansion in the Skeletons and Replicas showroom. They notice a human corpse on the floor near an Agujaceratops skull. As they approach it, the Indoraptor reveals itself and pulls the corpse further behind the skull. The three take refuge against one of the walls of the skull enclosure, but the Indoraptor finds their location by picking up their scent and climbing onto the Agujaceratops skull. The Indoraptor chases Owen, Claire, and Macy up a spiral staircase before the three escape into a power room, where Owen turns off the power to the entire mansion. Zaya and Franklin discover a hydrogen cyanide leak near the lab that will kill all the dinosaurs if it spreads to the compound. Franklin resets the control system to restore power to the house. At this point, Owen, Claire, and Macy are hiding behind a diorama with a velociraptor and a Dilophosaurus fighting near a glass wall. Macy soon realizes she is staring through the glass wall into the face of the Indoraptor and screams in terror. The Indoraptor breaks through the wall and chases the group again, injuring Claire's leg with its toe claw. The Indoraptor chases Macy up another flight of stairs and down a hallway until Macy flees to her bedroom, where she takes refuge in her bed. Owen is urged by the injured Claire to take care of Macy. The two share a passionate kiss before Owen goes in search of Macy. The Indoraptor, who has since climbed to the roof of the house, lets out a demonic screech and descends the building until it reaches the windows leading to Macy's room. Hanging upside down, the Indoraptor opens one of the windows and enters Macy's room. He slowly approaches her bed as she begins to shake and cry. Just before the hybrid attacks, Owen enters Macy's room and shoots the Indoraptor several times. The Indoraptor is not affected and gets back up to face Owen. Blue enters Macy's bedroom and confronts the Indoraptor. The two begin a fierce fight as Owen and Macy flee the bedroom. The Indoraptor fights, Blue off and traps Owen and Macy on the glass roof of the showroom. Claire appears with the laser gun used in the auction demonstration and points the laser at Owen. The Indoraptor charges at Owen and falls through the glass roof. However, he manages to grab onto a rafter connecting the glass panels and pull himself back up onto the roof. Suddenly Blue appears and jumps on the Indoraptor, causing them both to fall into the showroom. The Indoraptor falls directly onto the horns of the Agujaceratops skull, impaling and killing it, while Blue lands on the hybrid's corpse and escapes. Franklin and Zaya come in and reunite with Owen, Claire, and Macy, and the five protagonists escape the battlefield. However, a new problem emerges. The dinosaurs are trapped in a room 
flooded with toxic hydrogen cyanide. Claire frees all the cages of the dinosaurs, one by one. Claire puts her hand on the red button that would free all the dinosaurs from the entire building, but Owen advises Claire against it because he doesn't want the dinosaurs to destroy the world. Macy, however, presses the button anyway and releases the trapped dinosaurs, allowing them to escape to the mainland, exclaiming, they're alive, like me. As Mills goes to put the Indominus Rex fragment in the car, a roar is heard. As one of the men goes to investigate, he is grabbed by a pteranodon and thrown at Mills' car. The now free dinosaurs charge out of the house and trample another guard. Mills immediately takes refuge under his car, which is quickly trampled and destroyed in the onslaught. As Mills gets up from under the wrecked car and tries to pick up the Indominus Rex fragment, the T-Rex suddenly appears and grabs him. It brutally rips him apart before tearing him in half along with a Carnotaurus and finally devouring Mills, the T-Rex knocking the Carnotaurus over with its head, scaring it away. The T-Rex roars triumphantly and runs off, destroying the Indominus Rex fragment in the process and ensuring that no hybrid can ever ravage the world again. Owen, Claire, Franklin, Zaya, and Macy leave through the entrance of the Lockwood Mansion, where Blue reunites with Owen and even touches Owen's hand. Owen asks Blue to accompany him, but Blue refuses, preferring to run free on her own, rather than be kept in a cage again. Ian summarizes his speech, while a sequence of images is shown of the Mosasaurus attacking Surfer and the T-Rex roaring at a lion in a zoo. Owen, Claire, and Macy drive down the highway to an unknown destination, and Blue runs up a cliff overlooking a suburban neighborhood, implying that dinosaurs and humans must now live together. In a post credit scene, three pteranodons fly around and eventually settle on a replica of the Eiffel Tower in Las Vegas.